Okay. Some years back when a very good friend of mine introduced me to a YouTuber who was funny, quirky and so relatable. And if I remember correctly, she had just completed university and was working in finance and lived at home with her sister and her mom. Her vlogs were so raw. They were honest. They were funny. And she was open to sharing a lot of detail about her life, which was really, really good. It was fun by then and it was new. We were not used to that type of openness then. It was also during this time that I came across another YouTuber on the other end of the spectrum. Now, even though her videos is what I would consider raw then, she presented herself a bit differently. It was all about makeup, glam, and looking pretty for her. And she did a great job, a wonderful job sharing her tips and tricks with her largely female audience. I mean, both of these women were loved. They were loved. They were cheered on by their audience, which was evident because you could always see their subscribers growing and you could see their comments. It was always flooded with love. But then a shift happened. Suddenly, almost everyone kept using the same sentiment as it relates to both of them, but in a different context. And that sentiment was, I can't relate with them anymore. By this time, Patricia had gotten married. She had quit her job. She moved into a big house. She rebranded herself from Britpop Life to simply her name, Patricia Bright. Beauty by JJ, on the other hand, had also moved out of her family home. She was getting brand deals and she also rebranded herself from Beauty by JJ to just her name, Jenny Jenkins. So what was it? What was it that some people couldn't relate with? I couldn't get it then. For Patricia... I feel like it seemed because her life suddenly seemed unattainable. What was it like all of a sudden the same person who was the same person, the only things that have changed is now her surrounding or where she is in life. It's not relatable anymore. But then I looked at Jenny as well and it was strange because the consensus was that she wasn't open enough. So after learning about makeup from her, people wanted to learn more about her her life, but she kept those details very private. So this got me thinking, at what point do we stop rooting for people? Because if we take I Spice, for example, currently, just last year, everybody loved that short afro when she first came out. She was the princess of rap. She was unique. And it seemed like everybody wanted I Spice to win. And when she did, she was everywhere dropping music. People loved I Spice. But fast forward to this year, and now all of a sudden, it's like, oh, we don't like I Spice anymore. She has the same flow. It's the same songs. It's getting boring. And not only that, people are saying when she first came out, she was all about pro-women. But now she talks down on women in her, you know, songs and everything, saying, you know, She's better than them. She's cuter than them, this and all of that. And it's been really, really interesting to see. And I think Cardi B said it best. Cardi B said, everyone roots for Cinderella until she gets the glass shoe. And if Cardi says that, then she's right because she too has experienced her own ups and downs. I remember seeing Cardi on Love and Hip Hop. Everybody was rooting for her. She's funny. Everybody was saying all her words and everything. But then now, all of a sudden, if Cardi B just tweets, everybody comes for her and all of that. And it's been very interesting to see. So this brings me back to my initial question. When do we stop rooting for people? Is it when we feel we can't relate with them anymore? Is it when we don't, you know, get to know the details of their lives? Is it when we feel like they have changed from what we were introduced to first? Or is it when we feel like, oh, they're looking down on us? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts.